Right, so welcome back guys. Today I got a guide for all of you solo players out there. So what we're basically doing here is we're going to be running the Dark Aether on a solo run. So obviously if you already know what the Dark Aether is, you already know that it's quite difficult. Well, I wouldn't say it was like too difficult, but obviously you've got that one contract which is the Escort contract and it's like takes the mick like so with this I'll be showing you on how to complete all three of the contracts in one run so what you want to do here is get yourself a legendary ether tool and if you can you want to try and get a pack a punch level 2 crystal or a pack a punch level 3 crystal Obviously, if you can get a pack punch level 2 crystal, then you only got to go into game and get 15,000 points in order to pack punch to level 3. If you get a pack punch level 3 crystal, then happy days, you don't need to spend that money because we will need a lot of money in order to complete this. So, what you want to do from there is for your weapon, you're going to want to get yourself the WSP swarms and put the a following attachments to it so you want the WSP reckless 90 long barrel the hip shot L20 laser the 9 millimeter high grain rounds and a hundred round drum you'll also want to equip the WSP akimbo brace stock once you've done all this then we're pretty much ready to go. I have got a few following things that I would suggest getting if you can. If not, it's not the end of the world if you can't get them. So, these items are basically the ether blade or the gold armor plates and a dog bone if you can get one. They're not too important, so don't stress too much. If you can't get them, we'll be able to do it without them anyway. So, when, assuming you've got enough money, you've done contracts, you want to come to this buy station in tier 3 and buy a load of these Kazmir grenades, as many as you can. Get yourself 2 to 3 self revives and a sentry gun. Once you've done all that, come to the portal with your sigil. Obviously, assuming you know what a sigil is anyway, otherwise you won't be running this. Then just activate the portal and come into the Dark Aether. So looking at the map on screen now, these three points are where the contracts are actually located on the Dark Aether map. So the first one we'll be starting off with is just over here. So run this route, come up this ladder, and this is the Aether Extractor contract. So just activate it and then run over here, just follow the same route I am. And then you'll see this rope basically leading up onto the fortress. Go up this rope and you'll see a load of zombies and one of the Aether Extractors there. If it's too hectic here, then you can do it this way, leave that area and run over to the next one. And then it should calm down back of that one when you get back to it. But obviously as you can see it's a bit hectic here, but just try and kill off the zombies if you can. If not, just run around, kill them off. Obviously bear in mind you are on a time limit to do these, so try and get them done as quick as you can. Just literally come up to him run it as if you was running any normal ether extractor contract make your way over to the next one kill off any zombies that are here and then obviously again disable the ether extractor and then make your way back to the first one which like i said sometimes it is very hectic over there but if you run away from it and then come back to it as you can see you're it does die down a lot of the zombies disappear or near enough all of them just activate this again and then that will be the ether extractor contract done obviously just go to your rewards rift collect your rewards whatever you got out of there if you've got enough room in your backpack just make sure you keep them casimir grenades because we will be needing these for the escort contract So the next one we'll be doing is the Outlast contract and obviously this one 
isn't really too difficult it's quite straightforward to be fair obviously just run this route we'll see this never normally happens it was just my luck the a zombie just happened to be waiting for me at the top of the thing so that's well that's just basically call of duty for you but obviously just come and activate the pnd and then all you want to do while you're in this room is basically just constantly move so you can just literally keep an eye on both directions like this but sometimes it does get overcrowded down here so when it does start to get a bit overcrowded down here you will want to just start like circling the room basically so what i mean by circling the room is just run up the steps look back kill a couple of zombies obviously bear in mind they will come from the side of you as well so try and keep an eye on the side of you just keep killing them on the stairs until they come to the side of you kill them off run around the room a bit more run back up a different staircase kill a bit more of them off jump over the balconies obviously there's loads of different ways you can do this the main thing is you just keep it moving until the contract is over so once you've done all that obviously again go to your rewards rift see what you've got on your rewards and then we can move on to the next contract so for the next contract it's everybody's favorite contract which is the dreaded escort contract so what you want to do you activate the contract come and activate the tank and place a sentry gun down by you and you'll notice it will go to the back of the uh, acv basically so the thing to do here really is you don't need to worry about what's coming in front of the tank because the tank will literally wipe all them out anyway without causing damage to it you just need to concentrate on the back until it basically comes to a stop so just kill any zombies that are coming from behind the tank until you get to the contract uh, well not contract the first like ether thing whatever they're called like so if you've got a turret circuit and you have a turret like this in one of the three spawn like spawn locations of this contract then use the turret circuit if not then just throw these casimir grenades down on the floor like so and this will be pretty much wipe out any zombies that are coming towards you so you have pretty much got a straight run you so as soon as we start moving again same again just keep an eye on the back of the tank don't worry about the front of it because again the tank will just literally run them over and do no damage at all but you do obviously have to keep in mind about manglers mimics disciples mega abominations all of these because the tank will not actually run these over and they will like come to the side and the front of the tank and they will be able to damage it but zombies you don't really need to worry about so just let the tank deal with them basically if they're coming from the front so again once you come to a stop throw one of them casimir grenades down let it suck the zombies up and then wait until that one runs out chuck another one down take out any mimics disciples or manglers that are coming towards you because obviously these casimirs don't suck them up either so as soon as you've done that one just again keep an eye on the back of the tank make sure nothing hits it from behind and then hopefully at this point now if you can get a new drop like this then happy days if not then just don't worry too much about it just keep it going as soon as you come to the last one hopefully at this point now you've got quite a few of your casimir grenades left because this will be pretty much a straight run for you if you've got three or more casimirs left so chuck one down like this and let that one suck all them up you can chuck one at the front if you've got enough to basically spare just to be on the safe side of things 
obviously keep an eye on the Kazmir grenades if you still got some then just chuck another one down and then chuck another one down in the front so this will basically just ensure that you will basically 100% complete this without fail. So as you can see now we're still pretty much at half of the tank's health and it's pretty much the end of the contract so that's it basically guys so if this guide helped you in any way then let me know down below and if you have any feedback to give me positive or negative it will be great greatly appreciated and taken on board